Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show. Here at 4.30, just got in streaming on Twitch. Um, it's Mascar 8.5. That's why I'm a bit late with the Dodger recap. But I'm here to talk about the Dodgers losing the first uh, game of the Freeway Series, 3-2, uh, to two, to the Angels. And um, they've lost the first game, so that's only a quick two-game series, so hopefully they can at least salvage it tomorrow. Well, I guess technically today. Uh, try and salvage this and get a split before they head to Chicago to play the Chicago White Sox. But this offense, man, it's just so inconsistent. I mean, inconsistent. Five total base hits tonight. Two runs. Our only two runs came from two and homer from Shahani and Tani. He was the only offense tonight. Shahani and Tani, two for two. Two walks. Two RBIs. And a homer. You got everybody else? Chris Taylor, he added a hit. Vargas, he added a hit. Everybody else? Austin Barnes got a hit. Other than that, non-existent. Everybody else is non-existent tonight. You had fucking, fucking T. Oscar put him at the two, two spot, 0 for 4. Freeman 0 for 4, Polly 0 for 4, and Rojas 0 for 4. Miguel Vargas was 1 for 2, but they pinch, pinch hit him for Jason Hayward. 0 for 2 for Jason Hayward. KK was 0 for 4. We had a runner on third with one out, and we couldn't, have, couldn't at least, with that, get a sacrifice flying because the fucking motherfucker struck out. Chris Taylor's 1 for 2. Gavin Lux 0 for 2. Shocker, pinch hit, 0 for 2. We'll talk about Gavin Lux here in a second. And Austin Barnes 1 for 3 and a run scored. Well, Will Smith was on deck to try and extend the game if Gavin Lux on base. Pfft, yeah, Gavin Lux ain't going on base. The dude's a bust. I mean, how can they try this guy out there every single day? L l let me li list you his stats this season. L let's just list it. Gavin Lux is 14 for 68th to play, which is a 206 average with 11 singles, 3 doubles, and he has 16 strikeouts in the last 4 weeks, plus 2 at bats tonight. He's 0 for 6 to pinch here, and 0 for 11 as a substitute this year. It's... It's half a season. He plays one position, doesn't hit for average, doesn't get on base, doesn't slow, doesn't hit coming off the bench. Like, this guy does nothing for this damn team. Absolutely freaking worthless. It's just a predictable team. I just hope this organization plays move on from Gavin Luxon because he is worthless. He is absolutely worthless at the play. Just waste a night from the pitching staff. Landon Knight was a great. Five innings, two hits, no one runs, two walks, two strikeouts. I guess they didn't want to see the order for a third time. I get that. Ryan Yardbrough hits three batters in that inning. Gives up a one, two runs, one hit by pitch, and one on a ground out. But other than that, he was solid. One hit, two earned runs, no walks, two strikeouts over two innings. Yon Ramirez coming for an inning. Uh, hit my pitch after that. Struck it all three batters he faced after that. So, one inning, no hits, no runs, no walks, and struck out three batters. Anthony Bonda, 1.1 innings, no hits, no runs, no walks, struck out one. Evan Phillips, 0.2 innings, pitch gap, that one hit that scored the ghost runner. One hit, no runs, no walks, no strikeouts. So, Patrick Sandoval went out of this game with an injury after 2.1 innings. Two hits, none runs, two walks, one strikeout. Hunter Strickland, 1.2 innings, no hits, none runs, no walks, and two strikeouts. The only guy that gave up a run was Matt Moore. One inning, two hits, two earned runs, no walks, no strikeouts. But then Ben Joyce and Luis Garcia, after they combined for four scoreless, Ben Joyce went two innings, no hits, none runs, two no hits, none runs, no walks, and two strikeouts. Dude throws heat, man. Luis Garcia went two innings, one hit, no runs, no walks, one strikeout. And then Carlos Estevez, one inning, no hits, no runs, no walks, and two strikeouts. So combined, four, five, two, four, five, seven, eight strikeouts from uh, Angels pitching. And a lot of weak ground outs, but a lot of strikeouts as well. Tough loss. Uh, Dodgers had five hits for two runs. Angels only had four hits for three runs. Two come in the Dodgers got two in the fifth. They just got two and six. Got one in the tenth, pretty much to win it. Off the bat of Taylor Ward, an RBI single. 
Schnell is over. Schnell, how do you say his fucking name? Over three and a walk. Renhefo one for four. Taylor Ward two for three and a walk in an RBI. Calhoun was over two. Kevin P Pillar pinch shit. Over three. Oh, Hoppy. Over three. Zach Nato over three in an RBI on an RBI. Ground out. Mickey, Mickey Moniak over four in RBI. Zach Nato got one on a hit by pitch. Mon Mickey Moniak over four in RBI on an RBI ground out. Stefanik over four. And Joe Adele one for four. A great bullpen work from the Angels. Uh, just inconsistent Dodger offense strikes again. Wish I could play course field every game. Their offense might be bad, might look good. But yeah, um, they dropped to 47 31. The Angels get their 30th win, proving 30 and 45. But hey, oh, Tony Homers as the Angels beat the Dodgers. And just offense wasn't there tonight. Just offense is too inconsistent. I mean, I don't know what you can say. It's just inconsistent. But you gotta give credit to Tagore Ward. Um, drove in the, drove in the winning run. So, you gotta give credit to him. But show Tony batting late off this week. He's reached 50, the base 15 times in 25 play appearances. He's reached base all four times. So, The Dodgers offense simply needs to score more than two runs in ten innings versus the Angels pitching staff considering especially with the Californian Californian start early on two and one third innings. But you got mid ass fucking players in the bottom of the lineup like KK Hernandez, Gavin Lux. Like it's just frustrating. And once you knew Gavin Lux come to play, you're like, Oh yeah, this game's over. You got Lux, Taylor, KK, Barnes. Uh, each inning at or below 200. And oh, then you add in Kevin Biggio, another under 100, uh, under 200 hitter. This doesn't make you better. I, I'm just, I just hope they get rid of Gavin Lux at this point. Of course the Angels won this fucking game. Just absolutely worthless team. He's been giving them enough opportunities. Mookie's injury is getting him a second life, but... He hasn't done anything with it since. Like, it's just frustrating. Uh, but yeah, it's really safe for this game, so until next time, we'll peace.